Today, I'm super excited to take you on a tour of my Notion Personal Finance Tracker template. This template is one of my favorites. It's not only aesthetic, but also incredibly functional. It's a perfect tool to help you manage and organize your finances. I'll show you how you can use this template to keep your finances in check. Let's get started. When you first open the template, you'll be greeted by the homepage. This is your central hub where all the main sections of the template are neatly laid out. It's a design that to be both organized and visually appealing, ensuring that everything you need is just a click away. All the sections here are linked databases from the sub pages, which means any edits you make will automatically update across the entire template, keeping everything consistent and up to date. If you want to dive deeper, simply navigate through the menu at the top. Let's start with the financial section, which includes pages for transactions, accounts, budgets, and an overall finance overview. Before you start tracking your finances, it's essential to list all your financial accounts. This includes everything from cash and bank accounts to e-wallets, PayPal, and even liabilities like credit cards or personal loans. Assign a tab to each account and enter the starting balance. For liabilities, make sure to add a minus before the amount to help the template calculate your net worth accurately. The current balance will automatically update based on your entries in the transaction page. If you're using a different currency, you can easily change it by clicking the property, select edit property. In the number format, you can select different currencies you're using. Next up is the budget section. Here you can set and track your monthly budget, comparing it with actual transactions like income, expenses, and savings. The category list is linked to the transaction page, allowing you to customize it according to your needs. You can delete, edit, or add new categories. Enter only your monthly budget here. The actual spending will automatically update based on the transaction you lock. It's important not to change the property names to ensure everything functions correctly. With your accounts and budget setup, it's time to track your finances in the transaction page. Click the plus new button to log a transaction, specify the name, date, type, then category, amount, and select the relevant bank account. For income, choose to account. For expenses, select from account. For savings and transfer, if you're transferring from one account to another, select both from account and to account. Transfers between accounts don't require a category selection. The template offers various views in every database, allowing you to visualize your data different ways. This page gives you a comprehensive overview of your financial activity for the current year. It automatically pulls data from your transaction entries, providing insights into your income, expenses, savings, transfer, and balance on a monthly and yearly basis. Regularly checking this overview helps you stay on top of your finances, set realistic goals, and plan for the future. In this section, you can set financial goals, plan for a sinking fund, track financial habits, and manage your risk list. Setting financial goals and planning how to achieve them is essential for long-term financial health and stability. Starting by setting your significant financial goals, specify your goal and add details like the total cost and the current amount saved. You can also add a start and due date, set a status and priority, and plan actionable steps toward reaching your goal. The template includes pre-made template to help you list and check off each step as you progress. Additionally, you can track your goal progress using the milestone section, specify target amounts for each milestone, and link them to your goals. Plan for future expenses with a sinking fund. This is where you set aside money each month for specific purposes like car maintenance, travel, or any other future needs. Specify the total amount needed and how much you'll contribute each month. The saved so far property will automatically update based on your contributions, which you can log in the sinking fund contribution database. This helps you track your progress and ensure you're on a target. Tracking financial habits is crucial for maintaining consistency and reaching your goals. This section lets you monitor your daily and monthly habits. 
You can customize habit names easily by clicking the property and renaming it. And if you need to add or remove habits, adjust the total habits property and the progress bar accordingly. They also show a pre-designed habit template which you can edit to fit your needs. Just click the plus new week button to start tracking your habits each week. Finally, there's a wish list section where you can organize all the items you want to buy. Include details like product name, brand, category, price, and product image. Track your progress towards achieving these wishes and use the purchase checkbox to stay organized. Let's move on to the tracking section where you can keep tabs on bills, subscriptions, investment, debts, and insurance. Use this tracker to manage your monthly bills such as rent, utilities, credit card payments, add the start date, amount, and payment term. The due date will update automatically, helping you avoid late payments. You can also track your subscriptions here, making it easier to decide whether to keep or cancel them. The investment tracker lets you monitor your investment portfolio, including stocks, bonds, real estate, or even cryptocurrency. You can update current prices manually, track your buy and sell activities here. The company information is linked to the portfolio page, so any entries you make will automatically update in your portfolio. This tool is perfect for monitoring personal loans and mortgages, input details like the starting date, principal amount, interest rate, and monthly payment. The remaining balance updates automatically from the account page. Be sure to select the account related to its debt so the remaining balance reflects accurately. Lastly, the insurance tracker is included to help you manage your insurance policies. Keeping track of this ensures you always covered and can make informed decisions about your coverage. Notion recently introduced a chart feature, which is super exciting. On the homepage of this finance tracker, you'll find two main charts. The first track income, expenses, and savings on a daily basis for each month. Use the drop down row to select the current month. The second chart, left to spend, compares your monthly budget with your actual spending. Hover over the chart to see how much you've spent, the percentage, and how much you have left. This is a quick way to stay on top of your finances and avoid overspending. If you're on a free Notion account, you're limited to only one chart at a time, so choose the one that most important to you. However, even if you're using the free version of Notion, this template includes summary sections from all the main pages. You can track your financial progress, including weekly transactions, goal progress, net worth, subscription reminders, investment summaries, and more.